So do losing streaks happen to the best traders in the world? Well, let's take a look at two of the legendary traders that most people uh, admire. Right? One of them is uh, Richard Dennis, and most of you will know Richard Dennis as a legendary trader. Right? He started with $1,600 that he bought as a, as a kid, and he turned it into $200 million in 10 years. Now, that's fantastic results, right? And his friend, William or Bill Eckhart, has beaten the S&P 500 by 600% over the long run of 20 to 30 years. And some of you would have heard of the turtle trading experiment. It was started by Richard Dennis and William Eckhart. And what happened was, back in the 1980s, they had a bet going. And Richard Dennis said that, you know, anyone can be trained to be a great trader. Whereas Eckhart said, no, you're either born a great trader or you're not born one. You can't learn to be a trader. So they decided to have a bet. And what they did was they placed an advertisement in the New York Times. And they said, you know what, we're going to train uh, people who have no investment experience, no trading experience, and we're going to teach them our trading system. And they called it the Turtle Trading uh, Experiment. All right? In fact, it was written in a book called The Complete Turtle Trader, written by my buddy, Michael Corvell. And I highly recommend you read the book because it tells you the entire story of how uh, Richard Dennis and Bill Eckhart train 23 novice investors to become overnight millionaires. Well, not really overnight. It took them a few years. Okay, So what happened was they trained 23 uh, of these novices and the training lasted for two weeks. Two weeks. All right? Now, here's the interesting thing. Out of the two-week training, it only took them about two days to teach them the trading strategy, the entry rules and the exit rules. And the rest of the time, they spend to convince the students to use the strategy. In other words, most of the time was focused on training their psychology, their emotional discipline to follow the system when things got difficult, when they went through losses and drawdowns. So again, it's 70% psychology and 30% the trading system. So what happened at the end of the day? At the end of the day, the 23 traders were given about a million dollars each to trade. Uh, and the money came from Richard Dennis. And at the end of five years, they turned uh, $20 million of Richard Dennis's money, this guy Richard Dennis, into $175 million. Okay? Now, most people say, wow, that's fantastic. Teach me the system. I want to know, uh, you know their trading technique. And you know what? It's no secret. If you go to Google... You can type turtle trading system. You can download the entire manual of all their trading strategies. But again, 99% of people who are given the strategy, the exact strategy, are not able to achieve the results. Why? Because, again, no matter how good the strategy is, it goes through losses and drawdowns. And most people, once that happens, they get emotional, they give up. And once you give up, you can never get the results of the system. And let me show you a few interesting facts. So these were some of the traders in the Turtle Trading Group, right? You had Mike Cavallo, Jerry Parker, Liz Chappelle, <coughs> and so on and so forth. And you can see that they were all using the same trading system, the exact same trading techniques. And this was 1984, 85, 86, 87. And you can see that Jerry Parker, which is one of the uh, great traders, he ended the year down 10%. Whereas Jim ended the year 102%. And guess what? Both of them were using the same exact, the same exact trading strategy. Why? Because again, you can use the same strategy, but in the short run, you could get a different result because of, again, the randomness of trading outcomes. But the next year, Jerry got 129% and Jim got 42%. Okay? So in the long run, they all made money. They turned 20 million to 170 million. But you can see that there are certain years they may even have ended up negative. Okay? And if you take a look at their monthly returns, it tells again another story. <clears throat> For example, if you look at, uh, again, going back to um, this guy, right, who is uh, Mike Cavello. Oops, Mike Cavello, right? So Mike Cavello, for example, he did 14% return 
100% return, 34% return, 111% return. And looks pretty good, right? But again, if you take a look at his month-to-month -month returns, right, what do you notice, right? He has losing months as well. In fact, he's got a streak of two losing months down 20% to 34%. Okay, so again, no matter how good a trader you are, no matter how great your trading system, you may have losing months. You may even have losing years. That is a fact of trading. All right. Now let's take a look at William Eckhart, right? Who was Richard Dennis's partner. Now William Eckhart is a pretty fantastic trader, and he manages about six hundred million dollars in his fund. Now, if you take a look at the last uh, 30 years, I think it's about 30 years, you can see that this is his performance in blue. And if you compare that to the S&P 500, which is the stock market of the US, right? So the S&P 500 is the one in green, and this is uh, William Eckhart's, Bill Eckhart's performance. And you can see that he... Over the long run, he's been able to beat the S&P 500 by over six times. Now, is that a great result? Yeah, so most people say, you know what? I would love to get this result where I can get six times more than the, the stock market. Right? Most people say that, right? But again, if you take a look at his actual month-to-month -month returns, what do you notice? All right, so this is over about 30 years, right? You can see that even... Willem Eckhart, who is such a great trader, he does go through periods where he has got losing streaks, three losing months in a row, and over here, you know, four losing months in a row, right? And uh, over here, five losing months in a row, right? Uh, four losing months in a row, and so on and so forth, right? So many people think that professional traders, great traders, win every single month. They win every single day. They win every single year. And they've got unrealistic expectations. And when they don't get the result, they give up. Or they keep, again, changing their strategy, looking for the holy grail that's going to give them that winning formula all the time. And it doesn't exist. And that's why they go around in circles all the time. So think about it. Some people complain when they have five losing trades in a row. But this guy, will, you know, Bill Eckhart, had five losing months in a row but he still ended the year up 63%, right? And in the last 30 years, as you can see again, he ended up six times higher than the S&P 500. So again, it's taking a statistical view about the markets. And again, uh, this is over the last um, five years uh, of his performance. You can see again, he had a losing streak over here of three months in a row and another losing streak over here of four months in a row and so on and so forth. So how many of you have heard of Warren Buffett? I'm sure you've heard that Warren Buffett is one of the greatest investors in the world, right? Now what if I told you that there was someone else who has, who has a much better track record than Warren Buffett? Okay, and the guy's name is called Bill Dunn. Right, now this shows you a comparison between uh, Berkshire Hathaway, which is Warren Buffett's company, with Dunn well, will manage accounts, which is Bill Dunn's company. All right, that's Bill Dunn. Okay, and if you take a look at the last um, 30 years, this is 30 years, you can see if you invested $1,000 with Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, at the end of 30 years, you would end up with $22,330. But if you invested the same money with Bill Dunn, he would have turned your money into $31,148. So you can see in the long run, Bill Dunn has outperformed Warren Buffett. Now, would you like to get uh, Bill Dunn's results over 30 years? Right, the one in green. Yes or no? Most people say, yes, I'd like to get that result. It's fantastic, right? $1,000 to $31,000, right? What more could I ask for? Yeah, so everyone says that. But again, if you take a closer look at Bill Dunn's actual returns, this is over 30 years, right? You can see that from $1,000, okay, um, the S&P 500, if you put it into the S&P 500, it would have grown to $108,000.
But with Bill Dunn, he grew it to $866,000. So in other words, Bill Dunn has beaten the S&P 500 by 800% or by eight times. And again, that's a fantastic result, result, right? But again, if you take a look at the journey which he took to get there, most traders would have given up many times along the way. They would not have had the mental discipline to stick to the same strategy. Now, I must add that Bill Dunn has been using the exact same strategy for 30 years. He has not changed his strategy. He's used the same exact strategy. Now, take a look. When he first started trading in 1975, right? Look at the one in blue. That's Bill Dunn, right? So he had a great return. And two years later, what happened? He had a 50% drawdown of his capital. 50% drawdown, right? And most people would quit. They would give up. they say, you know what? I give up, right? I lost half my money, right? But he kept going and going and going because he had confidence that his trading system in the long run would always make money because he knew his trading system had a, had a positive statistical expectancy just like the casinos. So like the casinos, he knows that he will always win if he keeps going and does not change his strategy, if he does not give up, all right? And along the way, you can see that he had 11 drawdowns greater than 25%. A 35% drawdown over there, 43% drawdown over there, a 34% drawdown over here, 40% drawdown over here. Now, take a look at this one. Okay, now, over here, this was somewhere in um, 2003. In 2003, he reached a new high. And you can see that in 2008, so this was about five years, right? In five years, his capital dropped by 63%. Take a look. So Bill Dunn, imagine, he had six losing years in a row. For six years, he was losing money and he was down 60% of his capital. Now, most people, after six months, they would give up. This guy, after six years, he kept going and going because of the discipline and the confidence he had as a trader. And after that, he's now up to over here, beating, again, the S&P 500 by eight times. So I keep telling people that Trading success is 70% psychology and emotional discipline. It's only 30% the trading system. So, how do you train your mind to follow the trading system through wins and losses? So, you eventually make huge returns, a lot of money in the long run. Let's take a quick look. So, to be a successful trader, you must understand the probability of a losing streak or winning streak and to expect it and to prepare for it and not freak out from it. Now, based on mathematics, you can see that based on statistical mathematics, if your trading system has a win rate of 50%, which is what most trading systems have, then the probability of a losing streak is you can get 16 losses in a row. Okay? This is statistical probability. And... If your system has a uh, even a 60% winning rate, then you are likely to get 12 losses in a row at some stage. But at the same time, you also get 12 wins in a row and 16 wins in a row. So do understand that, right? So again, that means that if you are risking 1% uh, of your capital on every trade, then you should expect that along the journey, you will have at times a drawdown or a drop in capital of 16%. Does that follow? Does that make sense? Right? Now, if you're risking uh, 2% of your capital per trade, then you should expect that along the journey, you will have 16 losses in a row and you will have a drawdown of 32% of your capital. Okay. Now, again, if you risk 3% of your capital, then... If you have 16 losses in a row, which will come eventually, then understand that you'll get close to a 50% drawdown in capital, right? So oftentimes, you know, I've got students who send me emails and they freak out. They say, Adam, you know what? Uh, I've lost 20% of my capital, 30% of my capital. And I say, so what? It's part of the game, right? It will happen because 
of trading probabilities. But if you keep sticking to it, right, eventually you're going to make 50 to 100% return on your capital. A great example I can give is one of my students who joined my program just two years ago. His name is Felix and he's from uh, Malaysia, right? And when Felix first learned my trading system and he started trading uh, in 2017, he started in 2017, by the mid of the year, guess what? He was down 50%. He had a 50% drawdown, right? But he did not give up. He did not freak out because he understood that the trading system has a positive edge in the market. So he kept going, he kept going, he kept going. And by the end, end of the year, he made a good return. And in January of the following year, 2018, he sent me a message saying, no, hi, them. thanks for your teaching in Wealth Academy and Wealth Academy Professional, so far I managed to achieve a 60% return last year. Well, to be specific, he made a 59.57% return on his capital. Okay, so one of the things that I want to emphasize is this. To succeed in anything, it's not just how smart you are, how talented you are, or the skills you have. It's about your ability to take losses, rejections, and punches in the face. It is true in trading, it's true in life, it's true in sports, it's true in sales. You know, I give an example, right? Like I come from Singapore. And in Singapore, if you were to join an insurance company like Prudential or AIA or Great Eastern Life, you know, I used to spend a lot of time training insurance agents. My wife was an insurance agent, by the way, right? And the top financial, uh, sorry, the top insurance advisors and insurance agents in Singapore, they make over $1 million to $3 million a year. That's pretty good money, right? So you would ask, why doesn't everyone sell insurance? You know, why can't everyone sell insurance and make a $1 million or $3 million a year? The reason most people can't do that is not because they don't have the skills to sell insurance. It's not because they don't have the knowledge, but they are not able to take the rejections, right? Because to sell insurance, imagine, you don't have to keep, keep uh, making cold calls and every... You know, uh, 20 calls, you get maybe one yes. 19 people are going to say, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to meet you, right? For every five people that you meet and you sell them the insurance policy, four out of five may say, I'm not interested. And only one out of five would say yes. So most people can't take rejections. And that's why they can't sell insurance. They can't make a million dollars a year. Same thing. Why can't everyone be a great boxer, right? And one of my favorite shows is Rocky. And the final Rocky was Rocky Balboa when he was like, you know, elderly, right? And his statement was that no one is going to hit as hard as life or no one's going to hit as hard as the markets or whatever, right? But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And that's how winners are made. So winners are the ones who can keep taking punches after punches, losses after losses, rejections after rejections, and they keep moving forward. And these are the people who succeed. And again, it's 70% psychology. And that is why I can tell you that one reason I have been so successful in trading is not just because of my technical analysis techniques or my knowledge about the markets, because anyone can learn that. But a big contributor of my success has been using NLP. Neuro linguistic programming has allowed me to be able to manage my emotions where I trade with no emotions. Where I'm able to trade with the mindset of positivity and optimism that allows me to overcome every rejection and every downtrend to eventually always make more money every single year. And you can do the same thing for yourself. So I'm going to share with you some tips right now on how winning traders manage losses and drawdowns. Here are a few tips. You guys ready? Okay. So tip number one, understand that losses, trading losses, are the normal cost of doing business. It is part of the game. You can't avoid it, right? So every time when I have a winning trade, I get, for example, a 2.5R. I think of it as sales revenue. When I have a loss, I think of it as a cost of goods sold. So sales minus cost is... My profit, my gross profit, right? So remember that in any business, you've got sales minus cost equals to net profit. The same is true in a trading business. You cannot say, I only want sales and have no cost. 
Right? You can't say that, right? You have to have sales and costs. So in trading, your sales are your wins, your costs are your losses. And sometimes you have to pay your costs up front. Sometimes the losses come first and then the revenue comes. Right? So if you think about it that way, you don't feel bad taking a loss because it is part of the game. The other tip I can give you is don't focus on the monetary value of your trades. So whenever I have a win, I never think that, you know what, I won $5,000 or I won $10,000 or I lost 500 bucks, I lost 1,000 bucks. I never think in terms of money because when you think in terms of money, you get emotional. Like if you lose $1,000 a year, my God, I've just lost five days of work. You know, I just lost, you know, 100 buckets of KFC, whatever it is, right? Don't think about it and don't look at your account equity, all right? Instead, focus on accumulating our multiples. So I think in terms of ours. So when I have a losing trade, I never say I lost 500 bucks. I always, I always think I lost one hour. I lost two hours. I lost three hours. I won two hours. I won four hours. So when you think in terms of hours, you think statistically and logically and not emotionally. Judge your success by the process of executing trades perfectly and not on the immediate outcome of the trades. So a good trade could be a winning trade and a good trade can be a losing trade and you never know because each outcome is not within your control. Okay, But what's in your control is placing good trades that meet the rules and not deviating from your plan. Next, always risk a small percentage of your capital that is within your emotional threshold. So people often ask me, how much should I risk for a trade? Should I risk 1%, 2%, 3% or 10%? It depends on your emotional threshold. You must always risk a percentage such that in the event of a losing streak, you don't get upset emotionally. And it's different for different people. Okay, like I said, I showed you just now, that with a win rate of 50%, it is very likely and possible to get 16 or 18 losing trades in a row. It will happen eventually. Okay? So, in other words, if you are willing to take an 80% drop in your capital, then you can risk 1% per trade. But if you say, Adam, you know, I can't take an 18% drop. You know, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to get upset, right? I can only take a 10% drop. So in that case, you should only risk 0.5% of your capital per trade, right? Now, if you say, you know what, I can take a 50% loss, no problem, right? Great, then you could risk 3% of your capital. So it all depends on your emotional state. So always risk an amount where a losing streak does not hurt you. No worries, next trade, next trade, you keep going. Finally, always think over a large sample size. So I'm always thinking, of the result over the next 100 trades. Because I know that in 100 trades, I will always make money. I will always make money. But in 10 to 20 trades, I don't know. And I don't care. 100 trades, all right? So I do hope this video has helped you if you have been going through drawdowns or trading losses to understand that keep going. Keep sticking to your, sticking to your system. Have the right psychology and you can never fail. You can never fail unless you give up, all right? So keep taking those punches, keep moving forward. Adam Cool, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hi, so if you liked the video, you can subscribe for more videos by clicking the subscribe button. If you want to find out more about our live training courses in Asia, go to wealthacademyglobal.com. For our online professional stock and forex trading courses, you can go to piranaprofits.com. So this is Adam Cool, and I'll see you soon.